Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite books that I read so far this year. And these are some of the books that I felt like made it to me that I was like four star, five star kind of books that left me with a great impression that I wanted to learn more about. And I just really like these books. So getting started on the first book. The first book I'm going to be talking about is The Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. And this is a book that's been around for a while that I kind of never heard about. But after I pretty much saw the preview for the trailer, I pretty much was really intrigued by the whole story and when I read it, I really enjoyed it. And if you're like looking for something with steampunk, futuristic, post-apocalyptic type book where cities eat other cities type of thing and there's a crazy assassin, there's a boy who pretty much like was a princess historian and cities that move, there's airship pirates. This is pretty much a really good book to check out. So it's pretty much fun. The second book I want to talk about is Head On by John Scalzi and this is a book that I pretty much had me laughing. It was so super funny. There was like a mystery going on. And if you're interested in books where there's like science fiction world, like kind of like if you know the movie Surrogate with uh with Bruce Willis in it, then this is kind of like something that you might be into. I actually have a book review on the book in case you're interested in learning about it, and it's really good. So check that one out. The third book I'm gonna talk about is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. And if you haven't heard about it yet, I actually do have a book review on this channel if you want to learn more about. It. But what got me to read this one was like hearing everybody talk about how good it was. I saw it everywhere and then even when the movie came out it looks really good. So I knew I wanted something that's like has like a video game virtual reality type of essence but in a, like in a futuristic world where it's like after like war hits all the stuff happens and so the boy the main character in the story is pretty much living in the stacks and pretty much like they're like trailers stacked on each other and he pretty much like tries to escape through this game. So so it was really good and I actually liked it. Makes me think of like War Cross a little bit and other video game books that I actually read so far. So if you're interested in learning about it, I do have a link below so in case you want to hear about it. And the next one I'm going to talk about is kind of like cheating because it's like three books so far but it's like kind of like a series that I've recently finished that I really enjoyed and that is The Magician's Trilogy and I really enjoyed this one. It was magical and if you're interested in like books like uh, Chronicles of Harry Potter, Lord of Rings, pretty much everything that you would count as like a uh, fantasy. It's pretty much something that you would, might like. I like the writing style and ear two, I would say like it's kind of like Harry Potter that makes me think about it. But at the same time, it's not a copycat or anything. It's actually its own kind of thing and I pretty much would consider it like my own personal favorite classic. So that's a book that I, I would totally recommend checking out. And finally, my last book on the list is Paradox Bound by Prater Klein. And if you haven't heard about this book I also have a book review on this book so in case you want to check it out but if you're interested in like characters going on a road trip there's it's high speed action there's like this guy who's pretty much meets this girl who has the ability to try and travel through her car and she just knows like there's like certain routes that you can take throughout America and you can actually go into different time periods and at the same time there is a mad faceless guy after them so they're on the loose and they're trying to find the mysteries behind the American Dream and this is pretty much a really good book. I pretty much didn't know I was going to like it but I saw the cover and I thought it looks interesting. So I totally recommend checking this one out. If you haven't read this one out yet, it's good. So pretty much that's some of my favorites. Let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite books that you've read so far this year. Love to hear more and if you do like this channel and want to see more of these topics, let me know in the comments below and do like this if you totally enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to hear more bookish topics. So until next time, keep on reading. Thing.